Guess what? I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, the head coach for Job Search Coaching HQ.com, and this is No BS Job Search Advice Radio, and welcome. This is episode 1468 of the number one show in Apple Podcasts about job search. More episodes than any other by far. Seven days a week, I deliver information to you that's designed to help you find work more quickly. Today's show is a sweet little show. You know, it's basically asking, how do you ask a hiring manager to give you a chance? Hope you find it helpful. Hope you give it a great review. And in the meantime, hope you enjoy the weekend and let's get going. I received a question from someone and, you know, people always want to know stuff like this. What is a professional way of asking a hiring manager to give me a chance? The real question is, why should they give you a chance? Now, that's going to depend upon where you are in your interviewing with this firm and where they are in their interviewing with the, with people. Let me put it from their perspective, because that's really the most important one. If you're an early candidate, they're going to keep interviewing. They're not going to have any interest in being nice people and giving you a chance. Because if you fail, the hiring manager puts himself or herself at risk. Why should they do that? That's ultimately the question that you have to be able to answer in presenting this thing, this idea of them giving you a chance. What's going to be at risk for you? I know what's at risk for them. They can fail if you fail. And since they put their job and or their career at risk, they're loath to do that just to be a nice person and give you a chance. What are you going to take a chance on in this equation? That you're going to fail? That's not enough because, frankly, there's a big universe out there. They can find someone with better experience if that's the issue. So, again, if you're early in the search, or I should say if they are early in the search, this probably isn't anything that can work. However, if they've been interviewing for a while, a few months, certainly not a year, they're, they've demonstrated that they're very fussy about who they want to hire, it's going to fall on deaf ears. But if they've been at this for two months and they're still interviewing, they may have discovered or you may be able to explain to them that perhaps what they are looking for is a needle in a haystack and that what you're willing to do is come on board, lesser salary, demonstrate your effort, desire, passion, hunger to do this well. Maybe you'll pay for some training to get yourself up to speed in whatever the perceived deficiency is, but you really want to do this. And you know, maybe they could have you puppy dog with someone uh, where you're working closely with someone who might provide some oversight to you to help get you up to speed. Whatever it is, you have to put in some effort. But like I said, if this is the beginning of their search or they've been engaged for a ridiculously long period of time, forget about it. There's nothing in it for them. Again, there's that sweet spot in the middle between the beginning of the search and it's been going on for an eternity where you have that possibility. But even then, the odds are very, very small because their career is at risk. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few more ways to get more from me. First of all, visit my website, which is TheBigGameHunter.us. I have more than 6,000 blog posts there that you can watch, listen to, or read that will help you find your next job. If you want the best of my advice, join JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, where I've curated information with a focus on interviewing. If you decide to take the lifetime membership at the site, it's $299 currently, but that's the price of a coaching session or an hour of coaching from me, and I'll be giving that to you if you join with a lifetime membership. 
Have a few questions? Contact me through the Magnify app for iOS or PrestoExperts.com where you can call me. Schedule a specific time with me through chat on Magnify or by connecting with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Once we're connected on LinkedIn, you can message me about coaching you, scheduling in time for Magnify or Presto Experts, speak with me about a resume or LinkedIn profile critique, help you with a salary negotiation or my trusted advisor services, and much, much more. Like you, I don't work for free. I do charge for what I do. You can take my classes on Skillshare and become a premium member using the link in the show notes and receive two months for free instead of just the one that the site offers. Skillshare offers thousands and thousands of courses, not just simply mine, on a host of different subjects that can help you in many different ways. Lastly, join my group on Facebook called Career Angles. It's free to the first 250 people who join and is focused on helping you do better at work. Information is shared daily and we're attempting to build a supportive group there. Ask to join. I'm not letting recruiters in at this point. So I'll be back tomorrow with more. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Be great.